All right, everybody, welcome back to the Team Building Podcast, where you learn how to build a dominant real estate team in your market. And we've got a phenomenal repeat guest with us. Gary Boomershine of REI Vault is back with us, and we're going to talk about a few things. So number one, we're going to talk about what Gary's been up to since the last time he's been on the show. We talked about a bunch of stuff on his last appearance. Uh, I know a ton of people got a lot of value out of what he's done, uh, both the experience of building the system that he has, which I would call a true, a really true UX machine, one of the rare examples that are out there. Uh, and we can dive into that maybe another time. But uh, what we're going to talk about today is a little bit on ISAs. So Gary's been building a essentially an internal sales team to handle all of the seller generated uh, calls that he's generating off of mail pieces and all the stuff from the investor side. So we're going to talk about some of the lessons learned there, uh, why you have to have really good scripted sales people, uh, and then we'll get into some other stuff. So first of all, Gary, welcome back. Matt, it's awesome. Thank you for having me on your podcast again, and it's great to be with your audience. Uh, I'm honored to, uh, to be here again. I'll do my very best to provide as much value as, uh, as I possibly can. So, yeah, well, I have no doubt about that, but first of all, Gary, what have you been up to? So we talked last time just about the structure of REI vault and you built this amazing kind of machine where you essentially take all the best vendors and all the best systems and tie everything together. So you have this whole turnkey kind of real estate investing system, which I know a lot of the, the people who are listening are interested in as either incorporating it into their real estate team or doing it on the side, or they're already doing it. And they probably need someone like you to, uh, to help or to plug into your system. So uh, let's talk about just some of the, the recent developments with you guys. The market is definitely a lot more competitive. I mean, the profits, I think, are as great or even greater for the people who are cracking the code. Okay. But those that are making money, as, as real estate investors, you know, about 70% of our members are real estate investors first. Mm -hmm. And then we do have a lot of real estate agents. But um, really, the market's hot. Most of the people that are doing really well, they're going after off-market deals, which means they're going direct to sellers. Um, you know, how do you do that? It's typically direct mail, really effective direct mail. I'm going to talk about that because I think that's something that we've really cracked the code on. And I'd like to share some of the kind of the, the specific things to do to make it work. Um, direct mail, you know, Facebook ads, the right type of Facebook ads. Pay-per-click, except pay-per-click is getting a lot more expensive. There are a lot of co competition. And of course, referral marketing is huge, et cetera. Um, okay. So a lot of people come to us because, you know, they've, they want to get in front of sellers. It's like, how can you get me in front of seller appointments? Um, yeah. It's not about the postcard. It's not about the list. It's like, how can you put me into the right seller in my market that's motivated, pre-screen qualified, and I can go out there to discuss buying their house. And so um, come a long way. <clears throat> we do um, three things really unique. First and foremost, just backing up. Um, I run an agency for those of you that don't know me. My name is Gary Boomershine. In California, I've been uh, full-time real estate investing since 2004. I actually shared the story of how I got in. I left my job. We had a brand new baby. My wife uh, left her job and we went full-time real estate without any income. It's amazing. I can't believe it. I'm now 49. I look back and it's like, how did we make that decision? It was crazy, but um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's high, uh, high risk tolerance, high risk tolerance, brother. Uh, and um, you know, a lot of blessings. So anyway, yeah. I've been doing this, but um, I come from a technology background. Uh, a couple years ago, I was at a very high-end mastermind. For those of you that are not in a mastermind uh, with like-minded people, I would say get yourself involved in a mastermind. Um, I was in a high-end one. It was called CG for real estate, uh, specifically for investors. What I found is a lot of smart people, a lot of like-minded like -minded people sharing great things, but then everybody mm -hmm. had to go and implement ourselves, right? Yeah. And I said, what if we came together and we had one team? one shared team to be able to manage all the direct mail, one team that actually did the Facebook ads, one team that did all the follow-up and then all the phone work, right? Mm -hmm. Because just because you have leads, somebody has to work those leads. And so anyway, I, I built an agency. We're a sales and marketing agency um, where we do all the marketing and then the phone follow-up, no seller left behind to get you in front of sellers mm -hmm. at the right time. And we do those things super unique. And uh, it's like tapping into a team of about 45 people for the cost of one VA. And um, what's new yeah. since last year is we are really, really good on, you know, generating the leads. Uh, we've got some capabilities that I don't think other people have and uh, being able to track what's working best. We, we, we're pulling all the mailing lists. 
Um, some of our members uh, will provide us their own mailing list, but primarily we've got two really good proprietary lists that we're able to get that most people are not. Hmm. Um, we're able to get the right message. So we've got a lot of postcards and handwritten letters. One of the new things is a Google Street View, um, you know, handwritten letter. It's working really, really well. So we'll or react where the, like the hand, wait a minute, where the, where a picture <laughs> taken off of Google Street View, like of the front of their house? Of the front of their house that's handwritten and personable that's okay. put into a, a, a clear envelope or an envelope with a window so they can, and it says, is this your property? And that's been working really well. That's uh, super. And, and we found the company that was actually a referral from one wow. of our members. We found the company in St. Louis that's doing this for us. Um, okay. But anyway, doing direct mail and then the leads come into our system and then we automatically without doing anything, we'll kick off a two to three year follow-up drip process, which is automated text messages and voice broadcasts, which means we'll call the, cell, the, the phone number, it'll bypass ringing their number and it'll leave them a voicemail. Mm -hmm. And then as part of that, the new thing is those leads are automatically passed over to a phone team that is scripted, uh, mm -hmm. that's actually following up forever. So um, mm -hmm. it's all automated, it goes into an auto dialer. We're using a lot of people, <clears throat> I don't want to get totally in the weeds, a lot of people in our niche are using this thing called Mojo Dialer. We found um, the really, that's almost like Tinker Toys versus the real, the, the real true system is called Five9. Mm -hmm. That's used by the really large telecommunication companies. And so mm -hmm. that automatically goes into the system. Our phone team instantly is picking up the phone and calling those people through a script, get, you know, qualifying them, find out motivation, uh, building rapport, and then um, scheduling an appointment. And if, if they can't schedule the appointment, it'll automatically put them onto the drip to call them mm -hmm. back in three months or when mm -hmm. they're ready, et cetera. And so it's the, it's the marketing plus the follow-up plus the phone team that yeah. seems to be the, uh, the, the key. And we're doing, we're doing that pretty well. Yeah, it's insane. Okay, so there, there's a couple things that I want to dive into. I definitely want to dive into the ISA stuff because essentially you built the whole, you built it on the investing side. There's a lot of people who are listening that are attempting or in the process of building that for themselves on the residential side, which is the holy grail, right? Yeah. Just give me an appointment. Um, yeah. But I, there was something you mentioned when you, uh, we talked about direct mail, Facebook, pay-per-click, and you said referral marketing is huge. What do you mean by that before we dive into the ISA stuff? Yeah, it means, you know, um, is every... <clears throat> This is mostly word of mouth, but it's every contact that that uh, that we're making as a real estate investor or agent should either we're either buying their house or turning them into some sort of referral, and uh, we're training kind of our group of people of you know how to interact with the seller, and you know the sellers have got neighbors right uh, <laughs> as an example um, you gotcha. know of of uh, of of the right words to basically build referrals and. Um, and also, you know, we use post-it notes. One of the small things we do is we put post-it notes. Mm -hmm. and I can show you some of this stuff. Um, but if you're going out on an appointment, it's like go, you know, have your sales acquisition manager go to 10 or 20 of the nearest houses and make sure you just drop a little post-it note because typically one out of 10 sellers who have a post-it note are going to call is what we're finding across the country. Now, what, what, do you mean the by, right what do you mean by post-it? You mean that with uh, just a literally a handwritten post-it note with a message, like a handwritten message on it? It is. Uh, okay. right, let's see if I have one. <laughs> I will. And you know what? I will. I love how uh, you guys are always tinkering. <laughs> always tinkering. Okay. So tell me if you can see this. Okay. Uh, uh, keep going up. All right. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about buying your house. Please call me. And then a phone number. And then okay. a phone number. Wow. That's it. That's so it. We, uh, we now that's not actually handwritten, right? That's, that's printed. It's printed, printed. In handwriting font. Yeah, in handwritten font. So we found a, a printer that does this for us in bulk. And so our members can actually order like books of 5,000. They come in like little, you know, it's a four by six. And literally you just put this on a door. And uh, we're finding that on average, one out of 10 is picking up the phone and calling. Now, that doesn't mean that that's going to be a one in 10 conversion. Yeah, yeah. But one in 10 is fantastic. And so that, that yeah. came from one of our members, by the way, um, out of Tampa that was doing this. And mm -hmm. then we just said, hey, let's, let's actually, let's automate this for everybody. And so people just say, hey, can I order those books? And then you know, we put a special phone number, tracking number, so it comes right into the system so that the phone team will actually do all the follow-up 
Uh, yeah. If you want to actually, that wouldn't be Andrew Duncan, is it? It's not. It's, it's uh, a, okay. it's a, a guy that actually likes to keep. He was a big home investor. Uh, gotcha. So Just curious. Um, <laughs> first of all, that post-it note thing is genius. Um, so I, so I hope people go out and, and get in touch with you about that. That's, that's freaking huge. Okay. Now, so on the ISA side, you've essentially built a whole internal sales calling team and you put them on the, the best dialer that you can essentially get your hands on. Uh, right. What are some of the things that you've learned and noticed in the process of building up this ISA team? Because that's a, that, that's a, that is a pit that a lot of money, a lot of people have thrown a lot of money and time down. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Put a mile. Well, let me, let me tell you first and foremost, I, um, I did not think that we could build a Filipino offshore phone team that could crush it. Okay. And I was wrong. So okay. what we ended up doing, we ended up, and I, you've probably had this uh, gal on your podcast before, but we decided to go out and find who is the absolute best uh, in the real estate niche for building out the phone team. Mm -hmm. and so there's a company called Thousand Calls a Day. You're familiar mm -hmm. with them. Oh uh, yeah. Jessica. So I called Jessica about a year ago and they were high, they're primarily cold calling. And she mm -hmm. showed me her numbers. They were the ones that were using the five nine system. And I said, Jessica, I'd like to strategically partner and have you be our team. And, and we com we build a team specifically first for phone follow up, not cold calling, but mm -hmm. you know, we're generating hundreds and hundreds of thousands of inbound phone calls a month for mm -hmm. a small group of real estate investors. We have about 250 mm -hmm. people. <clears throat> and so we're doing all this marketing there's a massive amount of follow-up, right? It's the kissing of frogs. And so um, they built the phone team. Um, we collaborated and, and brought in some of kind of our top members and we built the scripts. So there's a cold calling script mm -hmm. and, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you guys if, if you want it, where to go. Cause I, I've mm -hmm. got the version that, um, that your people can have rather than trying to build it, just use what we already have. Yeah, totally. Um, we call it our sales ninja script mm -hmm. and it is a web form that, Based, based on what the answer is from the seller, it tells you what to say next. And building rapport, an icebreaker, et cetera, we call it the Sales Ninja web form. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll give you where to go and look at that in a bit. But anyway, um, we are finding, here are the numbers. For doing, for doing the, the, the dialing, here's the benchmark, and that is 100 dials of, the fo of, of phone numbers should generate about 20 people, sellers, that are actually picking up. So okay. that's consistent, 100 okay. times dialing 20, and that should generate two to three appointments, hmm. right? And okay. so, and, and if you think about the, the money, if you're making say $15,000 a deal, as mm -hmm. an example, you just take the number of dials, 100 dials to make 15,000. Let's say you two to three appointments, you, you close a deal, mm -hmm. right? So that means for every 100 dials, you are closing a deal for 15,000, you divide the math, it's like it's $150 per phone dial, whether the seller picks up or not. It is one of the highest money-making activities in the business and somebody has to do it, it just shouldn't be us, right? Because we're all busy Yeah. and dialing all day long is a lot of work. And so <clears throat> if you are a real estate agent, a thousand calls a day is a great way to go. Um, the right script, what we've found is, um, we actually take our phone team, we put them through about a month of training, uh, and they're practicing. They're actually, I, I work in four markets, so they're, we have them work on our markets. They go back and they're mm -hmm. taking dead leads and old leads and the crappy leads, and, and, and we, we fire the bottom 20%, so we bring them in. Every single day, um, we have huddle calls, two huddle calls with that team where they're sharing their, in, their you know, what are some of the objections? So one of the objections, you're gonna love this, Okay. So one of the objections that'll come up every once in a while is, you know, they're talking to somebody overseas and they'll say, well, the seller will say, well, where are you from? And it'll be like, we, we just train them, you know, <clears throat> they'll say, you know, I, I'm actually in the Philippines. I'm about an hour from Manila and mm -hmm. uh, Matt Johnson likes to hire me because we're less expensive and that's, and he's able to offer a lot more money to sellers in, in, uh, in, you know, in St. Louis or what have you. Right. So they go right at it and it's, and, and, and then how am I doing? Is there any feedback that I could give to Matt? Mm. And, and it's been amazing of what that does. Um, because now all of a sudden it's turned 
somebody offshore into a positive so that you can actually pay a higher price. Yep. And that came from the value of us having, we have a team of almost 20 phone people and on a daily basis, somebody said, how do we handle this objection? And we mm -hmm. turned it into something that's converting uh, amazingly well. Yeah. Um, you know, how do we hire a phone team? You know, it's kind of the John Belfort kind of model where you need, you know, sharp as attack, knowledgeable as all heck. Mm -hmm. And, and then the third is they're really friendly. We find mm -hmm. that those are the, and, and they're saying the right thing at the right time. So, you know, if we're calling, we get a lot of hangups as an example, right? Somebody will yeah. call off a of marketing and they hang up. Well, yeah. what are the right words? if you have three seconds to talk to a seller. So it's like, hey, we missed a call from you. Were you possibly calling about a note that you received in the mail or maybe a property mm -hmm. that you were thinking of selling? Mm -hmm. And then a pause. And so that's what the, they're all trained on how to do that uh, okay. with ease, right? And then, yeah. you know, do you have a couple of minutes um, for me to ask you a few questions? It might take one or two minutes. I'll be able to pass this on to a buying specialist who will be able to provide you more information about our company and, a, and an exact offer that we might be able to pay for your property. Mm -hmm. We use the word property instead of house. Okay. Uh, emotionally, it's actually given us a pop in, 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 uh, in the, in the numbers, believe it or not. Um, some sellers, some sellers may have, you know, an apartment complex and they're looking to sell or they, you know, yeah. they might have 20 houses. And so when you call yeah. it a house, a property versus a house, um, you know, it, it's actually, it gives us a little pop. So anyway, huh. we've been doing that for a year. It's been amazing. And, um, and we're able to see, you know, we can hold them accountable. Um, yeah. You know, it's like, Hey, you know, are you making the dials yeah. and they're all competing with one another? So it's been pretty cool. Man, there's, there's a lot, but I just want to very briefly point out, I guess, a few of the lessons that I take away from that. Cause I've actually talked with my, with my main co-host, uh, Greg McDaniel on real estate uncensored about this. Cause they've experimented. They've been in that, in the Danville market for, you know, 30 plus years, maybe 35 years, uh, since Terry McDaniel came from Boulder and moved to Danville where you're at. Um, they've tried Filipino callers into your market and felt like they, they felt like it didn't work objectively did not work. Not that they couldn't make it work, but just kind of concluded this does not work because there's such a prejudice against overseas callers. Yeah. And, uh, and so I, th I think there's a couple of things that you learn in your experience. Number one is it, it does really come down to the right people and the right people is a numbers game and you really have to stay at it. And like you mentioned, you know, firing the bottom 20%, making sure that they're hiring, they've got daily huddles. That's a lot of the things that a thousand calls a day is good at that regular agents are not good at. And I think that speaks to just how much, um, if you approach it extremely methodically and you look at each problem as, no, this is, this is something that can be solved, right? Accent, we can solve that. Well, what about the, you know, natural language idioms? Nope, we can solve that. What about, what about the objection people have when they flat out ask them? Nope, we found a solution for that. So if you attack it one thing at a time and believe there's a solution at every step of the way, like you guys did, now you have this incredible system that works, whereas others that have, had kind of dipped their toe in the water and, and didn't have quite the time horizon that you guys did and the patience that you did came to the conclusion, this doesn't work. So that, that there's a really good lesson there. Um, because I think that's really the secret from what I understand from people who have built successful ISA teams, whether they're overseas or not, it, it is really that, that belief that number one, it is absolutely possible. And I will find a way to make this work because this is the key to making my business work. The people that have said that have done it. Yeah. Um, and actually, uh, with, with your upcoming podcast, I'll have to connect you with a guy named Aaron Ryan out of the Northwest, uh, his ISA team for his residential team, they set 35 to 40 appointments uh, I think it's a day for their various people throughout the, you know, Oregon and Washington and all that stuff. Uh, they found it works best with, with, you know, people in the States and they're, they're living in a high income place. Right. Yeah. And so they're having to pay ISAs like a, a lot to, to come into the office and make calls. So there's, there's more than one way to skin the cat. And I think your, your methodical approach and just solving the problem stage by stage by stage is what's giving the ability to buy, like build the system on the back end. So yeah. anyway, yeah, that's yeah. How you know, the most important thing is you've got an effective team that's actually held accountable to specific numbers. Mm -hmm. And what we have found, it's like, okay, you know, it, because Otherwise, you don't know whether you've got a performing team or not. Yeah. And, uh, and so, you know, it's, it's, you know, <clears throat> it's our, 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 is your phone team actually converting? And the only way to do that is, you know, how many dials a day, how many connections and how many appointments are getting scheduled. 
And then on the sales team that's going out, it's how many of those, how many of those appointments are actually being completed, how many offers you're making, right? Mm -hmm. And how many signed listings or signed contracts are you getting in the profit? And yeah. uh, people that are actually, you know, it's attraction, um, EOS. If you, I don't know if you've talked mm -hmm. to traction, uh, Gina Wickman is probably one of my favorite books for the super popular in the real estate investor niche, but it's all about accountability, right? <laughs> Literally sitting on my bookshelf beside <laughs> me. Yes, I'm familiar. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we've actually had, um, Mike Payton, the co-author of, um, of rocket fuel on, on one of my other podcasts, which was awesome. We need to get him on the show. Uh, but yeah, it, it is very, uh, I mean, you guys run, run that whole system and, and you're extremely systematic in the way that you approach things. And I think what people can take away from, from an interview like this, besides, you know, the idea of working with you guys and, and, and partnering up on, on the investment side of things is just that, um, man, that, that methodical approach works and, and we can really overcome like whatever problem there is, whatever, whatever the limiting factor is in, in our real estate team, there is a solution for it. Somebody may actually have already figured it out, but let's say nobody's figured it out. There is a solution for it. A lot of times the person that solves it is the person like you who takes the, they have the, the internal belief that it can be solved. And then they have an extreme, they have a longer time frame. And then they have an extremely disciplined, systematic, like a metrics based approach. Whereas a lot of people, I feel like we go into it and we try a lot of things and we're going based off of feel. Do we feel like it's working? And the next week, do I feel like it's working? Do I feel like it? I've noticed that tendency in myself and working with my business coach to get better at that and flipping it from how do I feel like this is working to what did the numbers say? about the progress that we're making and what am I seeing in the numbers and we're really giving, giving the numbers the time and the space to, to give us real actionable feedback makes the, all the difference in the world. So, um, so I just wanted to point that out real quick because I think that's extremely important. But tell us a little bit about, uh, I think you mentioned it behind the scenes, just the, the sales industry. You've got this team, uh, it into all integrates with Podio. Uh, tell, give people just a little indication of where the ecosystem that that sales team kind of lives inside and what technology is kind of in that ecosystem. Yeah, I might, if you want, uh, I can actually even show you an example of how it works. So yeah, we, sure. we, uh, let me do that. Um, let's see here, pop this over. Tell me if you can see, uh, um, I can see it. Okay, perfect. I, I, I'll, I'll pop into it. So, you know, first and foremost, we wanted to have a CRM, um, a system to, to be able to capture all the leads. And uh, uh, Podio is really popular in the real estate investor niche. And so we decided to uh, utilize it. It's, it's a company, uh, it was, it's a Dutch company that purchased by Citrix, a multi-billion dollar company. Yep. And really inexpensive and really open uh, technology so we can integrate with the MLS, we can in integrate with Zillow instantaneously. Hmm. So we built out the, uh, the, the CRM specifically for sales and marketing, for the sales and marketing function. So um, we'll send out a massive amount of direct mail. Um, mm -hmm. We will put uh, unique phone numbers on the campaigns. So when somebody signs up, they get 10 phone numbers. They don't have to worry about call rail or setting up anything. We manage all, all of it for them. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and we put together a bulletproof sales and marketing plan on the front end uh, before we actually start. So we're kind of together saying this is exactly what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and mm -hmm. the predictive results of what we expect is going to happen off of this marketing, all the way down to the number of calls, the number of good leads, the number of signed contracts, response rate, profit. So we know that, hey, for every dollar you spend in marketing, you should result, you know, in a $6 ROI or a $10 ROI, et cetera. Cool. Yeah, cool. So we do all, we set up all the marketing, all those leads ultimately automatically come into Podio mm -hmm. and then our system will automatically figure out, Hey, what type of lead is it? And then we'll kick off a automatic drip campaign, which is a sequence of things that will happen automatically. So if a call comes in as an example, as a hang up, okay. it's going to trigger a hang up campaign that's mm -hmm. going to send a text message to that seller instantly. Hey, we just missed a call from you. Where are you calling about a, a property you were thinking of selling? Here's my name and phone number. Um, it'll, a couple of days later, it'll also send out a voice broadcast and it'll also schedule the phone team right then and there to, uh, it'll, 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 it'll have them call 
mm -hmm. and it'll put it onto a list for hangups. Okay. And this is all automatic without actually doing anything. Okay. So we use Podio to capture the leads. Mm -hmm. um, we ended up integrating to five, nine. So we signed up for five, nine. Um, and, and that's all that stuff is covered by us because of our volume. We're able to negotiate pretty amazing deals for all of us. Mm -hmm. So we, we manage the five, nine Podio automatically pushes the lead over to Podio or over to five, nine. Mm -hmm. And then we have 17 uh, full-time sales ninjas right now. We actually have 20, but 17 are fully trained. Mm -hmm. Another three are in the queue. And that team is working the lead. So as the, as, as the hangup comes in, that'll automatically start dialing um, uh, two phone numbers. Now what's cool is if the seller calls from let's say a 925 area code, the system will automatically dial back from a 925 area code. So we bought, purchased 287 <laughs> area codes <laughs> and we swap yeah. those out every, every week. So every week those numbers are changing. Mm. And why? Because, you know, yeah. since they're dialing so much, yeah. um, we want to get the best conversion. And so it just allows us and allows our team to do all the phone follow up. And I think for like 500 bucks a month, we, we can have um, our phone team plugged in for one of our members. So it allows wow. up to 150 new leads to be pushed over to the phone team for 500 bucks, which is, Goodness. you know, and then if they want, if they want to push more, they can. And then we're turning on the cold call capability mm -hmm. um, here as well. But let me just show you um, one way just to, you know, for, especially for those kind of your tech listeners that are wanting mm -hmm. to see it. So this is Podio. This is kind of a demo environment. This is, um, I won't go into all the details. We built out a pretty elaborate system. In fact, you can actually, we even have a scorecard uh, where we're tracking the metrics uh, mm -hmm. for, for our members. That's an EOS thing. Mm -hmm. but, you know, but the leads come into what we call seller leads. And I'm going to take, a, just take a, an example seller lead and I should let me back this up a little bit should have had a one prepared so uh, give me just a second pretend I'm not doing this let me just back <laughs> <it> out <laughs> that's all right I, I love to do it on the fly but yeah uh, which by the way if anybody was listening so the the scorecard is is really amazing just the, the concept from EOS uh, to dive into both in terms of building scorecards for uh, every key metric or set of metrics for the business, both growth and for operations. Um, scorecards are also great. Uh, they also use scorecards in the sense of the um, the role. So in other words, putting a scorecard together for the right seat on the bus, so you know when you have the right person in that role. So that, yeah, there's, um, if anybody wants uh, more on that, to go read Traction, Rocket Fuel, and all those EOS books, they're amazing. It's amazing, it's definitely changed my life. I actually bought like 200 books, I give them out to all of our neighbors. Really? I, I did, yeah. Nice. Um, we're a big traction follower um, of a track. In fact, we're getting ready to, we rent a big fat house uh, somewhere in the country and we bring our management team together uh, quarterly. So that's going to happen in San Diego in two weeks. Oh, nice. Hey, so let's say uh, this lead came in mm -hmm. and let's say it was a hang up. So it could have been a hang up or maybe it was a voicemail that was left mm -hmm. uh, from a seller um, or maybe it was a live call. I'm going to use the example of a hang up. So our system will automatically trigger a, what we call a drip campaign. And mm -hmm. it actually just happened right there. And it's the standard hang up campaign. It's actually for our phone team. Mm -hmm. So what the very first action, I won't, you know, it kicks it off. And the very first thing that's going to happen is a text message is going to go instantly out to the seller. And uh, we all, we also check about 60% of the calls uh, that the, the the sellers are calling from cell phones It's actually like 63%. And our system will also find out, Hey, is this a landline, a mm -hmm. business office, or is it a, um, is it a cell phone? And that happens and we get the results here. And then the very next thing that happens, um, and it's still kind of processing right now, mm -hmm. but the very next thing is it's going to push this lead and all the details over to the phone team. And then the right. phone team, typically we want to be within about 15 minutes. Um, and our team is working all the, the hours from 9 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday uh, to cover both all the time zones, mm -hmm. uh, Pacific through Eastern. So there it is. Mm -hmm. So it, it just went out and says, sorry, I missed you. I'm looking to buy a property in your area. 
you have one for sale and then it'll put your name as our, mm-hmm. you know, you, you or your sales acquisition manager mm-hmm. and then their, uh, and the cell phone. And then we can actually see that the next sequence was to push this over to the phone team. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that just happened and I can, we shall see it here in a second, but it, there's a push mm-hmm. that'll automatically happen in the system and that's pushing it over to the auto dialer. Cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then our, our team will pick that up and dial the seller without having to enter any phone numbers. So it's mm-hmm. super fast. We're getting, uh, usually we can do three to five times the amount of interaction with sellers than if you were trying to do it, to do it yourself. And then I'll show you the script. So here's okay. the specific script. Uh, and I'll give everybody, if you want to have access to the script, you can have this for free as my, um, you know, thank you for, you know, being on this, but we call it our sales ninja web form. So mm-hmm. it's, here's a hang up. So if it was an inbound call or maybe a follow up or somebody that said not interested, it's a different script, mm-hmm. but here's exactly the right words to say to the seller when you get them on the phone. Hello, we missed a call from you. Were you possibly calling about a note you received in the mail or a property you were considering to sell? Some of these sellers on a hang up will say they didn't call. And so mm-hmm. we provide the exact caller name and the cell phone and how long they were actually on that call as a yeah. way to just keep them on the phone. Well, gosh, you know, it looks like we missed a call from, is this Mark Smith? And it looked like you, you know, we missed it and you were possibly on there for 128 seconds. It just allows us the ability <laughs> of trying to stay on there. And then do you have five minutes so I can ask you a few questions about the property, like the condition, I'll then pass it on to a buying specialist who will be able to call you with an offer. Now, wow. if they say, no, I can't talk, mm-hmm. we're going to say, okay, well, when would be a good time to call back? And that will automatically be scheduled to call back. Mm-hmm. If it's no answer, same type of thing. It'll automatically yeah. dial. So if it's a hang up, we're going to call them again tomorrow, the next day, the next day, give it a couple of days. So there's a whole cadence of exactly mm-hmm. what the follow-up is. But if they say, yes, I can talk. The next question is, do you have a property for sale? Mm-hmm. Right. And it's, so it's conditional based. Yes. Mm-hmm. Great. Can we start with confirming your information? And then the system is automatically pulling any information mm-hmm. up again to build rapport because we know that if the smarter the phone team is, right mm-hmm. a, a, about the situation the, the more likely yeah. they're going to schedule so as opposed to say hey do you have a property to sell great what's the address again and they go off oh, for crying out loud exactly yeah, so basically they're reading it back and saying hey are you still on 123 main street here you know uh, 92616 or something right like. yeah and then in order to make uh make sure we can reach you about an offer what's your cell phone and or preferable phone number mm-hmm. we try to get the email address and mm-hmm. then it's property listed with an agent right? Mm-hmm. If it's listed with an agent. We're going to put them on a different drip to follow up with them to see if it's still listed. And then there's an icebreaker. The immediate thing before we go into price, we're actually breaking the ice. And, uh, and then we ask them other questions. So this is awesome for your guys. If they want a copy of this, um, uh, REI vault, REI vault.com forward slash sales ninja. There's a free version of this script. There's also a, uh, a paid version. I think it's like 97 bucks or a hundred bucks, but there's a version that actually will generate a lead sheet and you know, you can actually use that tool. Cool. And then the version with REI vault is fully integrated with Podio. Mm-hmm. So when this is filled out, it automatically does everything. It comes back in the system as a qualified lead. It tracks it as an appointment scheduled, et cetera, mm-hmm. um, et cetera, et cetera. But Phenomenal. all this is automated. So if it's, if mm-hmm. it's, um, Let's say it's a follow-up, which means, hey, this is not ready right now, uh, and it's a follow-up. That will trigger a different sequence of events because a hang-up, it's going to be you know, three years. We're going to be sending them this one series of, of uh, messages, and then if it's a follow-up, it's not going to be as, you know, it's going to be more of a follow-up component, which means, hey, we're going to wait for 30 days before we do anything mm. and, uh, and then slow the process down. So anyway, it's been pretty cool. This is all built based on feedback from our members. Mm -hmm. That's the power of us working together. It's, you get smart people, you know, saying, Hey, this is exactly what we need. And then, and then we build everything based on that. It's been cool. Yeah. That's insane. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, The the depth and level of thought and experimentation that went into that is, uh, is insane. But yeah, it, yeah that, that's when you realize, oh, that's why stuff works. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, it's yeah. another thing that's interesting. I think we're the only company 
out there that's really able to truly track what's working best and uh, as the market's changing. Yeah. So we got some feedback as an example. There was one postcard, um, uh, and I'll, I'll show it to you. Actually, we call it the pink doodle card. Okay. And this, we, were, we heard from lots of people, this is their absolute best marketing piece. Little postcard. Um, I'll actually show the sample of it. We've got hundreds of different things, but at the end of the day, it's like, what is the best series of marketing pieces to put in the, to the right list, right? Mm -hmm. um, if it's an absentee owner list, you know, what should we be mailing? And then should we be sending letters or should we be sending postcards? But anyway, this came to us. This is super popular in the real estate investor niche. It's the pink doodle card. Okay. And um, you'll like where I'm going with this. This is, uh, uh, I liked it. And a lot of us still mail, but here it is. Doodle because it literally has doodle stuff all over it. Uh, <laughs> looks like it was handwritten. And um, this is all managed by, by our team. And uh, my name is Ryan or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. the, your name is. I want to buy your house. And, uh, you know, it's, this is all the Dan Kennedy direct response stuff. The ugly works better for sure. Yeah. For, you know, hands down over the sort of branded, you know, color postcards. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there's another guy that uh, his name is Brad Chandler. And these guys are do about a million dollars or more a month. Uh, they're on the East Coast. But Brad, they built a postcard. We call it the 1031 exchange. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we don't allow our members to mail this in his market. Mm -hmm. But it was really cool. So it's just this is goes out on white paper. We call it the 1031. Um, it says my name is whatever your name is. I recently sold a house in your area and I'm looking to purchase another one with the proceeds. I wanted to send you this note in case you might consider selling your property at blah, blah, blah. We kind of reverse highlight. We always put an 800 number versus a local on this. It actually gets a higher hmm. response rate, believe it or not. That's interesting. Um, talk about the psychology about that in a minute if okay. we want. But then there's the front. And this works better on white paper than it does on yellow or anything else. And hmm. by the way, this gets a four times response rate, a 4x greater, 400% more calls than the one I just showed you across the country. So we're averaging about a 4.5% response rate on this postcard across the country where we're getting about a 1.3, 1.2 on the other one that I just showed you. Isn't that on crazy? The, on the pink and doodle? On the pink doodle. Huh. On the pink doodle. So uh, uh, the quality of leads are really good off of this as well. Mm. So, you know, quality, you know, yeah, it's not just the response rate. It's also yeah. the quality and the motivation of the seller. But I think part of it is, you know, it's, it looks, hey, you're the real deal. And mm -hmm. uh, so we're able to share these types of metrics with our members because yeah. at the end of the day, it's all about how do you get in front of the right people at the right time and you're making money and your marketing is effective, you know, and it's efficient, it's working, and mm -hmm. you've got a team that's accountable to make sure that, you know, they're doing the right stuff. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. It just makes you, it makes you realize, gives you like an inside peek into how much testing you guys have done and how much just sh at like the, the sheer access to metrics that you guys have to what works around the country is, is absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, for anyone that's, that's like dabbled, I mean, there, you can get into all kinds of programs and you can, you know, like you said, I mean, if you, if you got a hold of, let's say you got a hold of the pink doodle postcard from somebody else or from somebody that's been doing it or something similar or whatever, you stumble across a technique like that yourself you probably think you're doing well. You're like, wow, one and a half to 2% response rate. Good. I'm let's, let's ramp up and scale up. Meanwhile, you've got something that delivers 400% of that, uh, because you've tested it across the country. And, um, yeah, that's just, first of all, that's, like I said, the, the access to that level of metrics is insane. The access to the feedback that you get from members all over the country is insane. Um, so anyway, okay. Yeah. The other thing that's kind of cool, we've, um, we've, we've been able to do this. Our volumes are really high. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I know we've, we've mailed out over 25 million pieces of marketing. So I know that we've, we've, we've got more experience doing this than anybody in the niche, including in the yeah. real estate agent niche. Yeah. We're able to track all the metrics on that because we've got the system and we're tracking the phone numbers. So we know the volume of calls, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, we are, as a group, we're putting massive, we get huge economies of scale and leverage because, mm -hmm. because of our volumes, we're able to negotiate ridiculous prices with, with list providers. Mm -hmm. 
different types of companies and the mail houses. So we're able to guarantee to our members the lowest cost mail. Yeah. Um, if we can't do it for less then we'll use their mail house and we haven't had to do that yet. Um, mm -hmm. It's pretty, you know, postcards are super, super inexpensive. We've also showed how to make your marketing free, actually. You can turn your marketing into a profit center. So many of us are spending, you know, a couple thousand to 10,000. We got some people are spending well over 20,000 bucks a month in marketing. And it's like, how can you turn that into a profit center? And, uh, um, and actually, we learned it from somebody that came from your group that, uh, that uh, on the real estate agent side. Really? Because, Are we talking about structuring like marketing service agreements with lenders? Uh, marketing service agreements. Yep. Uh -huh. Using vendors. As an example, if you're a real estate investor, you're really looking for, as a real estate investor, you're looking for junker properties, right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be 10 to 15% of the leads. Well, what are you going to do with the other 85%? Well, those are really good for listings. Those are yeah. really good for listings, right? The pretty houses. And so mm -hmm. you can actually partner up and sell the leads to a really good realtor. Um, or mm -hmm. you can get referral fees if, uh, if, you, say, can act, if or, you can take, if, or if you can do what, uh, what Tom Caffarella did, who's another client. So he was a, he's a real estate investor in Boston and he built it. What is now a 200 person brokerage to capture the leads himself. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So he it's, sends his own agents amazing. on the appointments. Yeah. I mean, there's all kind. I mean, for, I mean, for anybody, for anybody that has a real estate team that can capture the listing side, I mean, I, I mean, to me, there's no reason why not to go out and, and use a real estate investor led lead generation type of offer because you're going to get all the, all the listing opportunities you want off of the 80% of the properties that aren't right for the investment offer. Yeah. So yeah, to me, it's a no brainer. Yeah. No. Awesome. Hey, I, I know, uh, you're, going to probably ask me um, about R the REI vault. Mm -hmm. uh, REI vault, we're set up really as members. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm doing this business in four markets. Um, we have a semi-exclusive model, which means we don't want people really overlapping and uh, competing with one another. So mm -hmm. there's some markets that we just don't have any um, openings, mm -hmm. but we're looking for, you know, like-minded people that, um, that have a real business and a real need for being able to tap into experts. So yeah. um, typically you'll need a marketing budget. We'll even help you with that, but you do need a marketing budget. Uh, you need to have a fundamental belief that marketing is a return on investment. Mm -hmm. And um, and so let's say you're in a market, you might be spending $1,500 a month in marketing. You might be spending 5,000 a month. It depends on the number of deals you want. You can scale mm -hmm. that up or down. Yeah. Um, so Typically, you'll fill out an application to join. Um, you would go out to reivault.com and you, you can fill out an application. There's not a sales process because we want to make sure this is a good fit for you and it's a good fit for us. We can be successful together. And then you can also be a contributor because everything that we're doing is contributing to one another. Um, so we're looking for the right people uh, that fit. Mm -hmm. And then um, typically our service for access to our team, we're really charging for, it's the equivalent of, of you hiring one VA. So it's anywhere from about a thousand a month to 2000 bucks a month, mm -hmm. uh, depending upon whether you need our phone team or not. Mm -hmm. And then a budget for what your marketing is. And mm -hmm. then uh, we get on the phone and we put together a plan. We get everything working. Usually your marketing is out within seven days. We have wow. you up and running from the time that you sign up to the time that we market. And then typically three to four days later, you have leads uh, coming in. And then about 30 days to 45 days after we've started marketing, we get back on a phone and we review the results together. Uh, we've got a CEO dashboard that basically the numbers don't lie. So we mm -hmm. can come in and say, hey, here's what we said we were gonna do and the results. Now let, let's look at how it's performing. And yeah. we can really drill into what's working, what's not working. We're able to show this. This is an example of our CEO dashboard. This is mm -hmm. this is actually built by a bunch of heavy hitter, seven figure real estate people that said, "Hey, how do we really, as as business owners, how do we want to look at our numbers? Okay. So, what's the overall effectiveness of our marketing? What's the response mm -hmm. rates? How many leads per contract? How many leads per deal? And what are our net and gross profits? And then our cost per call, lead appointment, closed deal." And then what is my volume and, you know, what's working and then get super granular around the campaigns. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, we like to do a lot of split testing. So we'll start off and we'll test a few things and then we'll figure out what's converting best. And then we'll ramp that stuff up 
and uh, it's pretty cool. We're really we've been around uh, been around for a while. We've been we just got named Inc. 500 fastest growing company, I think, for the third year. Yeah. In a row, That's and awesome. um, it's been fun. We'll probably people always ask how how big are you going to take this? I think 500 about 500 real estate professionals is about where we want to head. So we've got about 250 now. We're kind mm -hmm. of cap it out. Our plan is around 500 total mm -hmm. investors and agents using our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, for anyone, for anyone that's in the audience, I mean, if you have the real estate team that can capture the leads, I mean, I'm just looking at like the, the numbers there, you know, around 45, 45 deals, um, or 45 leads per appointment and then 64 per deal. So in other words, to generate one completed deal, it's only 64 leads. Is that, am I reading that correctly? Correct. Um, you contrast that to, I'm trying to think of what the, uh, I think it's one out of every 33 uh, for a, like an internet buyer lead. But think about how much more you make on an investment deal versus the, the buyer real estate commission. Um, so, uh, so anyway, I mean, to add this, or to have this, you know, like rolling in conjunction with your real estate sales team, especially if you have a listing specialist who you can train, because you mentioned the sales acquisition manager, we might have to get you back on um, uh, to talk about kind of that role and how to build someone like that into your team, because that is uh, at least initially, like if someone's in the audience and they contract with you guys, that, that would be them unless they, until and unless they have that person trained up. Um, and so that'd be an interesting conversation is how to get that person installed. Uh, Cause a lot of people now, if they're, if they're withdrawing from the active side of the business, or if they have the freedom to go on the listing appointments themselves, they would be the, they would be the acquisition specialist and you would just go in and yet now you have a whole other lead generation arm and a whole other pitch that you can make when you're in a meeting with a seller, you have all these other options that you can pitch them uh, and then you can train somebody else to have those appointments for you and withdraw from the business faster. So, yeah, you know, we get together um, twice a year as a group mm -hmm. and uh, we call it a CEO business building and mastermind events, three days. We just had one last week. Mm -hmm. um, and, and one of the, that was a big hot button. So we're really working yeah. on stocks. It was how to hire, how to hire the right sales person, right? Sales acquisition manager. Uh, you know, what is their performance? What is their compensation mm -hmm. package? Right. Yep. And then where do you go to find them? Yeah. And it was interesting because our next, uh, what we're working on, uh, it's going to happen over the next three to four months. We'll be using our phone team to actually do the recruiting for the sales acquisition. <laughs> so that's, that is that's coming. Awesome. So we're working on the script. That was a, a, a lot of people said that would be awesome if you guys could help us mm -hmm. with that. Um, but it was, it was, that was amazing because <clears> the <throat> sales acquisition manager, number one, um, we're a big traction company. So it's like, what are mm -hmm. they, what do they own? So when you're hiring and then the job description piece, I, there, I, have, I have swipe copy. So I just told everybody, hey, here's, here's where to go and yep. get swipe copy for the job description um, so you don't have to write anything. This is exactly mm -hmm. what you're looking for. And then we're finding for investors, sales acquisition managers are typically um, real estate agents or some of the best uh, ones. Um, nice. because not only are they going to get listings, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But they can cherry pick some of the best deals. So, yeah. Anyway. Love it. All right. So just to, to recap kind of where people can go uh, to connect with you. So we talked a little bit about the, um, the, the free version of the script for the sales ninjas that are, that are making the calls or the return calls and, and scrubbing the leads. So reivault.com slash sales ninja is where they find that. And then just to get the, the basics and the skinny on what you guys do and the application, and all that stuff, where's the best place to go? Yeah. reivault.com is probably the best place to go, reivault.com. Um, there's another video, I actually did this for a large hedge fund, one of the, uh, one of the largest private hedge funds uh, for their CEO. Mm -hmm. But you can go out to a um, reivault.com for CEOs. Mm. So uh, I, I recorded a, a little video specifically that um, a lot of people like. So reivault.com for CEOs. And um, yes, you want to see if it's right for you. There's actually a quick qualification, couple of questions, and then it goes right into an application. You fill out an application and then uh, you can schedule some time with our team. And uh, we get on the phone with you. It's not a sales call. It's really a discovery call to see if there's a fit. Make sure that, hey, all your questions are answered. We want to make sure this is a good fit and you really know what you're getting into. And then, and then we take the plunge. Cool. So, yeah. 
Awesome. Well, like I said, we'll have to get you back on to go deeper on some of the other things because we, we covered a lot. Um, and, uh, and guys, go back and listen. With that being said, Gary, this was uh, unbelievably awesome and super, super deep. I know people got a ton of value and walked away with not only some ideas that they can implement, some inspiration for, for what they can do on the residential side of things, but also some ideas for how they can expand and maybe build this into a facet of their real estate business and build like this, um, essentially like an investor sales and marketing engine that also feeds the real estate team and feeds more listings into that side of the business, which I think is uh, one of the most interesting models I've seen out there uh, in all of real estate today. So awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was an absolute pleasure and uh, look forward to meeting some of some of you and, and mm -hmm. actually seeing you and Jeff uh, live together in person again, uh, Matt. Great. <laughs> It'd be a lot of fun. <laughs>